The Artsakh Defense Ministry dismissed the Azerbaijani reports according to which supposedly an Armenian drone was downed at Agdam town. Azerbaijani Defense Ministry's information is untrue and the Defense Army has not lost any drones, the statement says in particular. It added that the respective photos published in Azerbaijani media were apparently old footage. In a statement, the Artsakh Ministry of Defense added that it is noteworthy that this is disinformation by Baku and it has accidentally coincided with the OSC Minsk Group co-chair's visit to the region. A French mountaineer died after he was trapped under snow in the mountains nearby a hotel in Armenia's Avera. His body was transported to the city by a defense ministry helicopter and the other four mountaineers were taken to the hotel. The friends of this mountaineer had quickly pulled this person out of the pile of snow, but the French national had lost consciousness and therefore rescuers had been needed. The helicopter from the Ministry of Defense of Armenia had arrived to search for the French citizen who got lost at the mountain. Lynn M. Tracy was officially sworn in this week to serve as the new U.S. Ambassador to Armenia. Ambassador Tracy is a career member of the Senior Foreign Service and will represent the President of the United States in Armenia. We can't wait to welcome her in Yerevan soon, the message posted by the U.S. Embassy says. Despite disagreements with respect to the appointment of the Secretary General, there is no operative management deficiency at the Collective Security Treaty Organization, the CSTO, Russian presidential spokesperson Dmitry Peskov said. There is no frustration either at the Kremlin or among the CSTO members, Peskov said, and there is no management vacuum at the CSTO. There are some disagreements among the CSTO members, which are currently being settled, Dmitry Peskov added. This process continues. Armenian Georgian Defense Ministers David Tonoyan and Levan Izoria have signed the 2019 cooperation program between their ministries. Tonoyan noted that they had discussed bilateral relations as well as defense cooperation within international organizations. The Armenian minister stressed that the two parties mutually respect and believe in the idea of a peaceful and safe Caucasus. Izoria, in turn, welcomed the Armenian servicemen's participation in the military exercises being conducted in Georgia along the lines of NATO programs. 